Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create muddy earth textures in V-Ray for Rhino. I'm going to be using this simple scene here and we'll be creating a muddy texture on this outside plane here. Now currently my scene looks a little bit like this and this white plane in the forefront of the scene is where we'll be making our texture. To create this texture I'm going to be using a mixture of some of these muddy sand textures available on textures.com in combination with some of the displacement maps from these snow textures as well to get the kind of footprints and different sort of shapes cast into the mud. So I've downloaded a few of these maps here and you can see them in my texture library here and we've got a couple of diffuse maps. These will give us the color of our ground texture, this kind of muddy color. And then we have a displacement map here which will give us the sort of height of our texture. And the way displacement maps work is it will pull up on the texture wherever it is white and it will push down on the texture wherever it's black to create a kind of uneven surface to that texture. Now to create the material we're going to start just by going to the V-Ray Asset Editor, this little V logo in the corner, going to my materials, creating a new asset, a new generic material here and we'll call this mud and under the diffuse we're going to click on the texture slot go to bitmap and drop in one of my kind of earthy texture colors here and the diffuse color is the kind of color the object would be so we can see that inputted there I can click on the back button and we can see the preview on my texture and we can now right click and apply it to my selected map and we can always open up the texture here to sort of see it rendered and this is the kind of view from the side here we can see that texture now in place there now once that's in and I'll render it from the front view so we can have a look at it as we adjust it we now want to make this texture kind of slightly shiny so it looks like a sort of wet muddy texture that way. Now to do this a lot of the textures found on textures.com will come with what's called a roughness map. So if I select this kind of muddy sand you can see here it has a roughness map and the way this works that the areas that are darker on the map are less rough and the areas that are lighter are kind of a rougher texture. So this essentially controls that kind of shininess as opposed to the roughness of the texture. Now we can import this into our V-Ray object under the reflection tab. And if I open up the reflection color, go to bitmap and find my roughness map, I can drop this in to that reflection slot. Now currently this is controlling the roughness which is almost the opposite of the reflection. In that way what this means is whatever's light in this color will be need to be rougher and actually it's doing the opposite in the reflection slot. It's telling me now that whatever's light in this texture will actually be reflective. So in order to invert or switch this texture around we just need to go to the texture color manipulation here and click on invert texture there and that will just flip the two tones around so whatever needs to be shiny is light and whatever needs to be rough is kind of a whiter color. Now you see as I do it it's basically making a fully glossy material here and the reason for that is that actually it's probably slightly too light so we might need to play around with this color offset in order to change that. Now as well as the reflection color we should also play around with this reflection glossiness which is the kind of sharpness of the reflections we're getting. Obviously with a muddy texture it wouldn't be a mirror finish we'd have a slightly diffused kind of reflection to that. So to counter that I'm going to just right click and I'm going to copy my reflection color texture and I'm going to paste it into the glossiness slot there. So now it's going to be controlled by this map. And here you can see we're now starting to get a slightly kind of better sort of slightly matte shiny mud looking material. Now I think for now this is looking okay but the next part we need to test with this is the actual displacement of the object and this would give us that proper sort of muddy look where certain kind of bits of the texture will be pulled out but you'll have kind of small clumps of mud sort of spread around and to do that we're going to click on the add attribute and add a displacement here that will be found towards the bottom of the texture. We can turn it on 
open it up there and under the normal displacement I'm going to load in another bitmap texture and for this I'm going to use the snow footsteps so I'm actually using this displacement map here for that although this is connected to the snow texture I can use the displacement map in this muddy texture to add the same kind of displacement the same texture to this particular material color so we'll load it in there like so now at first you probably won't see any change in the material and that's due to the amount value here I'm working in millimeters so I'm going to need to up that amount from one millimeter which it is currently to something a bit higher and I think it should be something like a hundred millimeters should work quite nicely with this texture here you can see that's now sort of lifting it up and I might even lift it slightly higher let's do it to 150 and now you can see that it might almost be sort of too shiny your material you might have realized now that once you've added that displacement we can really start to see the sort of shiny wetness of that material now if that happens you can always go back to the reflection glossiness here under the texture slot go to the color manipulation and we can change this color offset to dampen that slightly and you can do the same in the reflection color to lower that and it's all about just kind of fine-tuning these until it gets to the look you want now I think for now that's kind of looking pretty much at the texture I want but for the final look of this I want to create sort of small puddles in this texture to properly give it that kind of wet muddy field sort of look and to do that we can do a little trick using a glass material now I've already set up a glass material in this scene and just a reminder of how to do that you just need to select the diffuse to be a completely black the reflection to be completely white with a glossiness of one to make it really shiny and the refraction to be completely white as well so that's the kind of main parameters of that glass material once you've made that I'm going to just select this plane and we're going to copy it and I'm just going to copy it just above the other plane so we've got two copies of that object and once that's done we're then going to select our glass material and I'm going to apply it to that new copy so what will happen now when the render updates is we'll now have this kind of floating sheet of glass above my kind of muddy surface now all we need to do is just pull this down until it's just above the original surface and because of the way the displacement works you'll see that the water now kind of sits in amongst that displacement object what I can do is we can render it from this view to get a slightly better view there you can see how that sort of muddy material is working it just has that kind of glass material sitting in to make it look like a kind of body of water it's just sitting below the surface of that sort of muddy material there and then we can get a kind of better view of it and that was just a quick video tutorial on how to create a muddy sort of wet material in V-Ray for Rhino. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you want any other videos on material creation in V-Ray or Rhino please check out the videos on the channel.